In this video you are going to learn about the structure of the atom. You are going to learn that it is made up of protons, neutrons and electrons. You are going to learn the masses and charges of those three subatomic particles. You are going to learn three key definitions, atomic number, mass number and isotopes. The idea of atoms has been around since ancient Greek times when philosophers such as Democritus came up with the idea there must be some stage where you get to a particle so small it becomes indivisible. And in fact the word atom is derived from the Greek word for indivisible. It wasn't until the late 19th century and the early 20th century that experiments were done that enabled us to find out that protons and neutrons make up the nucleus of an atom and there is a cloud of electrons that whiz non-stop around that nucleus. Use the information on the previous slide to complete this diagram. Pause the video and then check to see whether you have got the answers right by restarting the video. Make sure that you know this simplified picture of an atom. You need to make sure that you have a completed copy of this table in your notes. It should be easy enough for you to complete the location column, but we will now go through the mass and charge column. These are not their actual masses and charges, but are their masses and charges relative to one another. A proton has a mass of 1 and a charge of plus 1. You must remember to put the plus in front of the charge of the proton. And of course the location of the proton is in the nucleus. A neutron also has a mass of 1 but it has no charge, a charge of zero. And of course the location of the, nuclear, of the neutron is also in the nucleus. The electron has a negligible mass, which means it's very small compared to the other two, and it has a charge of minus one. Don't forget to put the minus in front of the charge on the electron. Of course, the location of electrons is in shells or energy levels around the nucleus. All atoms are neutral. This means that they must have an equal number of protons and electrons, so that the number of positive charges on the protons is exactly cancelled out by the number of negative charges on the electrons. The number of protons in the nucleus of an atom determines which element we actually have. So for instance, every atom with six protons must be a carbon atom. Every atom with 11 protons must be a sodium atom, and so on. Now the number of protons is so important in an atom, it's given a special name. The number of protons is known as the atomic number of the atom. And this is the basis of how elements are arranged in the periodic table. They are in, arranged in order of increasing atomic number. The mass of an electron is very small compared to the mass of protons and neutrons. So they basically have no impact on the overall mass of an atom. Most of the mass of an atom is due to protons and neutrons. So the mass number of an atom is defined as the number of protons plus the number of neutrons in the atom. We need to know a shorthand way of representing all atoms including their mass number and atomic number. The mass number is written as a superscript before the symbol of the element and the atomic number is written as a subscript before the symbol of the element as well as shown on this part of the video. So here is an example. This is read as 2311 Na. 
23 is the mass number of this particular sodium atom and 11 is the atomic number of sodium. From this we can deduce, first of all, because the atomic number is equal to the number of protons, that this sodium atom, and in fact all sodium atoms, has 11 protons. It also must have 11 electrons, because in a neutral atom the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. It has 12 neutrons. The number of neutrons is found by taking the atomic number from the mass number. So 23 minus 11 equals 12 neutrons. Here is the shorthand form for two different atoms of chlorine. You can tell they're both chlorine because they both have atomic number 17, which of course means they have 17 protons and 17 electrons. However, the two of them have different mass numbers. One has a mass number of 35, the top one, and the other a mass number of 37. This means they have differing numbers of neutrons. 35 Cl has 18 neutrons, 35 minus 17. 37 Cl has 20 neutrons, 37 minus 17. These are referred to as isotopes. Isotopes are atoms of the same element, chlorine in this instance, with therefore the same number of protons and electrons, but differing numbers of neutrons.